Hello everyone, I am Nishika Gupta, currently working as a senior software engineer at LinkedIn and today I am going to start this series on object-oriented programming design patterns. So this series is very beginner friendly hone wali hai if you are preparing for interviews or if you are currently working in a company. As a software engineer, we all know how important design patterns are. So in this series, I am going to start from scratch explaining what are design patterns, what are the different type of design patterns we use as software engineers on day-to-day -day basis and uh, what are the problem they try to solve. So let's take an example first to understand what are design patterns. I'm writing a class, let's say public class and now this class can have multiple class numbers, right? Let's say int for simplicity, I'm just calling it as A, similarly B and you will have a lot of class numbers like this. Now, let's say this animal class is used in another class. I'm defining another class, let's say zoo. Now, in this class, you might have a lot of animals, right? So, let's say I'm defining animal 1. Similarly, you are going to have animal 2 and so on. And to initialize all these animal class members, you're going to call new of animal in the constructor of zoo class. So you are going to have a constructor for the zoo class and let's say you will initialize animal one, something like this, new of animal with all the parameters. Let's say one, two, three, four. You are going to initialize animal with all the values. Now, is design me problem kya hai? So if you see, if I add another member, let's say A1. तो मुझे क्या करना पड़ेगा यहां पे जो इसका कंस्ट्रक्टर ऑलरेडी डिफाइंड है यहां पे एक कंस्ट्रक्टर होगा डिफाइंड राइट right? जिसको हमने यहां पे कॉल किया है विद ऑल द एग्जिस्टिंग वैल्यूज ऑलरेडी आई हैव टू डिफाइन अनदर पैरामीटर विद द न्यू क्लास मेंबर जो मैंने अभी ऐड किया लेट्स से ये वाले आपके पहले के मेंबर्स हैं नाउ यू हैव टू ऐड अनदर मेंबर जो आपने यहां पे न्यू ऐड किया नाउ ये अपने नया कंस्ट्रक्टर तो बना दिया but जिन भी classes में ये animal class use हो रखी है, वहाँ पे भी जाके अब आपको कौन सा constructor call करना पड़ेगा? ये new वाला, right? Another option is कि आप multiple constructors बनाओ with the permutation and combination of all the members जो आपने यहाँ पे रखे हुए हैं. But इसमें problem क्या है? You will then have a lot of constructor for your class, which is not a good design. And also आपको constructor uh, overloading may be kaafi zada dikkat aegi because in constructor, let's say if I have two constructor, animal, int, a, and animal, int, b. Let's say, ye wala constructor aapka use hota hai, is wali value ke saath animal object banane ke liye and ye wala constructor you want to use to create animal object with this value. But because in dono ka type int hai, aapka jo compiler hai, wo understand nahi kar paega ki aap kis type ka constructor banana chahte ho. Basically, agar aapka signature same hai constructor ka, you cannot differentiate between the values that you want to initialize. So, ye ek major problem hai abhi ka jo humne design banaya uske hisab se. Basically, kya hua? Aapki jo zoo class hai aur aapki jo animal class hai. वो tightly coupled हो गई यहाँ पे जो भी आप change करोगे उसकी वजह से आपकी बाकी classes भी impact हो रही हैं now similarly there can be a lot of classes जिनके अंदर आप animal class को use कर रहे होंगे तो आपको हर जगह जाकर ये changes करने पड़ेंगे इसको solve करने के लिए हमारे पास एक pattern आता है called builder pattern जो क्या करता है अगर आपके पास बहुत सारे class members हैं and you have a situation where you don't need to initialize each and every class member, then you use this kind of pattern. So basically, design patterns kya hue? Design patterns are common solution of the problems that we face while writing our code. Jaise ki he wala problem tha. Isme hame kya dikkat aadi thi? Hamari dono classes tightly coupled thi because of object initialization. Is object ka initialization kyunki is tarikhe se kiya gya tha? It was difficult to create objects of this particular class at various places in your code. So, in sari cheezo ko solve karne ke liye hum design patterns ko study karte hai. In this series, I am going to refer a very famous book called Design Patterns, Elements of Reusable Object-Oriented Software. 
सो so, ये बुक भी आप रीड कर सकते हो इफ यू आर इंटरेस्टेड इन रीडिंग बुक टू अंडरस्टैंड डिजाइन पैटर्न्स बट अगर आपको बुक नहीं समझ में आती है यू कैन रेफर माय सीरीज एज वेल आल्सो आई ट्राई टू कीप दिस सीरीज एज बिगनर फ्रेंडली एज पॉसिबल एंड आई ट्राई टू अवॉइड ऑल द जागन बट इवन इफ बाई मिस्टेक आई एम यूजिंग इन जागन प्लीज फील फ्री टू कमेंट डाउन एंड आई बी हैप्पी टू रिजोल्व यूर डाउट So see you in the next video from where we will start with the different type of design patterns we have in object oriented programming